Hello there and welcome back to the House of Lannister. We are going to march north and deal with our treacherous brother. Now, my forces would suffer a little bit of attrition through here. So we're going to split the army in... Wait. You guys, we're just going to put you down. We're going to split the army in half. And we're going to have the main force here led by Arthur Dane with Forley Prester and Roland Craycall. He's going to go straight through to the Bane Force. The rest of our forces here, led by me, yours truly, along with Adam Marbrand and uh, Garth Greenfield. We're going to follow up the rear, but not quite yet. We're going to let these guys get ahead first. Hopefully the uh, phrase there, give them a good bit of a bang. Um, that should allow us to have the extra force. Oh, what is this? You would like a match between my cousin and Brendan the Oathbreaker. He's also in prison. You know what, that is a good match. Sure, we'll allow it to happen. I'm going to send your army straight through and we're going to get up to the main force as well. Excellent, then refusing to leave. Good. So we should be able to go straight through after them. Also, we've become close friends with uh, Garth Greenfield here. Excellent, um, the armies here have begun to clash, but uh, they do have the benefit of the terrain here. We'll see how it goes though. I'm sure that Arthdane will not lose and we are coming up to the rear if so required. Yeah, they're going to be. Well, that's just terrific. Well done, fellows. It's only 50% though, so we're going to chase with uh, Arthdane's army and this other army here we will uh, simply allow to disband. This war, it has seen 68% uh, in favour. Your war, 80% in favour of the Northern Clans. In fact, the Northern Clans might just get independence here, and that would be hilarious. Very interesting to see if that will occur. And Rob Stark has had a lot of things added because he has inherited the Trident. Uh, for some reason, Robert's allowed him to die. Uh, oh, we've got a son here, Robin. He is known as the Ugly. Why is Robin known as the Ugly? Uh, what was Robin's real name? I don't, I don't recall. Let's name him uh, Heath. For Heath Ledger, sure. Uh, he could be the Joker of the family. But what have we got here? We've got Marshall Focus. Let's, let's continue with that. Who will have the uh, pride there? Um, Cersei, are you pregnant yet? No, nope, she's still not had a child with Edison. I'm sure Edison knows how, how all that works, though. He will uh, get straight to work. I have full, full uh, confidence. Mace is the most useful. Well, great, so I'm very glad of that. So now, hopefully, this army is able to go through and destroy these forces here. When the war thrust was this, this man, who did, what did he do? He inherited a castle from him, but he's not dead. Too bad. We are having another battle here. Should be another victory, though. It's the exact same army is involved. These Northmen are fighting for Jarion, but they won't be able to win. Hopefully we'll see a victory of this uh, this battle here. Yes, 100% excellent. We're going to go ahead and uh, enforce the Mars here. Gerion has been captured. Unfortunately, though, for some reason, he's a lord of there. We could just banish him straight to the Night's Watch. I think we will do that. We don't want to be a Kinslayer. We'll simply banish him straight to the Night's Watch. Excellent. Have fun up there, Gerion. It's a shame things had to happen this way, but it's your own fault. He also kill his own... Yeah, he killed his own guy there. Oh, I've inherited Mode Kaelin now. That's brilliant. Uh, let's, let's just send the army back and disband them. I've inherited Mode Kaelin, me. I was, a convoy of the bank has arrived in Castle Rock. He is seeking repayment of the debts of Jerion Lannister. Jerion Lannister invaded me! <sighs> it wasn't too much, though, so we'll go ahead and pay it. You want me to pay for the loan that was used to invade me? This is madness. Because we have a lot of prisoners here. Can we do anything with them? Yeah, it looks like the Night's Watch is going to be getting uh, quite some recruits here. Although, these guys would all cost me money. Exile. To the Night's Watch with all of you. It's going to cost me so much money, but uh, how can we not? It's a great meme. Uh, exile. Exile. Why aren't you guys exiling? Get out of here. It's a great meme. We can't not do it, but it's so much money. <sighs> Rob the Exile. Off you go. Malador. 
the Septon Mark. All these people, they need to go to the Night's Watch. They really do. They really do. This is just this is too funny not to do. In fact, I want to mark them all as special interest as well because these guys, uh, they might get up to something fun while they're up there. Uh, Wendell, uh, who else is there? Septon Lindon. Hostin, he's already dead. Uh, died not knowing quite what was wrong with him. <laughs> uh, sure. Septon Mark. Uh, Malador. Rob the Exile, he's dead as well. Died of poor health. Uh, well, that's actually all from We have another kinsman here. Damon has had another daughter. Ella, sure. Ella. Let's uh, expand you guys. It's you chaps, I don't know why I'm leading this army. Let's just get rid of it, please. Thank you. Yeah, somehow I've gone and taken that land from them. Also, my cousin Sir Tybalt has expressed a desire to get married. Uh, I'll find you somebody nice. Who we got? Who we got for all uh, Tybalt, eh? No one. Uh, okay. We have nobody for you, Tybalt. What about, uh, what about this woman here? Morocca. Morocca, Morocca. Oh, there's uh, Poya. Yeah, sure, let's go with Poya. Poya, you want to marry my, uh, my old fella here? Yeah. Well, who is he again? Who was he? I forget which one it was. Tybalt. Tybalt the Useless. Yes, let's get him a marriage over here, shall we? Flamboyant Schemer. Schema. Edison Toilette's doing very well. Excellent, and you now have that wife you so desire, Tybalt, of course. Uh, what have you got here? Betrothal can marry. That is Gerald. No, it's Arthur to uh, Serena Lannister. We'll, we'll accept. Excellent. Uh, what else have we got? Betrothal can marry. That is um, Ty Tyrion to the Zocan. Sure, let's just do it. Uh, excellent. He's going to be in charge here for a long time. We can actually get a free alliance with us. And of course, we'll see if everyone's concerned because we like money. Money is great. Ooh, an extra 100 gold. You're an idiot age as well. Uh, what's this? Alice Mullen was killed. Ah, too bad. Actions available. Host a wedding feast. Yeah, sure. Let's let's do it. All my vassals will be there. A couple of people have uh, become black brothers. Are uh, the chaps were sent off? A few of them. What's this? Just a, your Lord Treasurer, Lord Melwyn has grave news. Part of the castle where the guests would be staying would have to be repaired or else he couldn't guarantee the guest's safety. It would be rather costly, but Lord Melwyn assured me the repairs would be worth the cost. I'm sure they will be. Let's just go ahead and repair it. The best part about holding a feast is always the whole event. We'll spend lavishly. I know I'm trying to save money, but we have an absurd amount right here. Um, what is this? The upcoming wedding in Castle Rock will be an event all seek to attend, even foreign guests. One such Samala Islands man named Zabaho Balono wishes to partake in festivities. He is he says he is on a tour of foreign lands and wishes to sample a Westerman wedding. Sure, you can uh, have pride of place. Following the teachings of divinely inspired thinkers, a diligent human could should strive for peaceful resolutions. I have members of my court who do not see eye to eye, and my duty as a leader is to ab arbitrate their disputes, of course. And a peasant now is accused of murder before he caught his wife and children were found butchered in the small hood. Yeah, it's, again, it's circumstantial. We're not going to be arresting people for such things. However, Rob has been defeated, and we have the perfect entertainment for our feasts. They are jongleurs. They looked a bit ragged, but their performance entertained the whole castle. Perhaps I should think about offering them patronage. Sure. You should also think about offering me patronage. I do have a Patreon link down below, and it goes a very long way in supporting the channel there. Oh, have a spoon. Good, good for you, sir. The fire blasted right past my face, and I felt how my hair started to curl away from the fire. The fire cake eater had been a bit too careless for my taste. Man chops. Is that that must have been the head? This is the only hair I have. Is the mutton chops? Also, if you're worried about uh, Tywin not getting mutton chops and Crusader Kings free mod, he does. The um, the dev who is creating the faces has managed to edit one of the vanilla beards to become mutton chops, so Tywin will have mutton chops in the mod. He he looks very very uh book canon. The character is it's great to see. Go ahead and check out their Discord and check out the other artwork made by the uh, devs over there. Until next time, we are going to be going to peace here, and yeah, I'll take my uh, opposition. Sure. What is this? No! Right, are we all at peace now? You are defending against of the Northern Clans and Northern Independence War. Oh, well, that's uh, over 
shortly. They're at 99%. Welcome to the wedding, everybody. Ah, good, you have become a black brother. A feast? Yeah, sure. Oh, Rob Stark is no longer alive. Benjamin, however, is the Lord of River Run. Aha. And Lady Tully does have this land and there. This is a really, uh, really untidy uh, family tree over there at the moment. A fine tradition. Tyrion and Tysha are stripped of all garments by the revelers who make many a bawdy joke. Isn't Tysha the name of the uh, hoe he was married to at first? No. Uh, they are finally bundled to the bedchamber where they are left alone. Well, good for you, Tyrion. I agree, fun, so everybody else. Looks like this war will not be uh, lost after all. Oswald went. What, what, what happened to Oswald went? I just saw that pop up and clicked straight for it. He is married. Oswald has a child, Elwood. He's uh, killed many people. Marks Ricewell, the uh, chap there. He just had his uh, armor removed, I think. What do you offer me here? Hand to the king, perhaps? No, I'm not going to be a commander for your armies. I will, however, start to rise up my entire force now. Let's get everybody marching. We have a huge army. Yes, we do. The culmination of your life's work and the legacy of House Lancer will be inherited by a bastard dwarf. With appropriate status, I could dismiss a member of the King's Guard. Uh, my daughter, Cersei Lannister, shall be my heir. The Dwarf has my name, but will never have cast your right. We could just straight up disinherit him. All the Lords of the Westlands still remain. The Dwarf has uh, proven himself. No, I think... Cognatic succession. No, we're gonna... Let's just disinherit him. He'll never have Castle Rock. My new heir is actually going to be Heath, who is my youngest son. Heath the Ugly. Oh, great. That's exactly what we're after. Heath the Ugly. Mad all there's had his uh, thing join. Um, right, let's see who is of age. John is going to be... No, John died. In the dungeons. Are you of age yet? You are 13, so I cannot buy anything off you. You there, only have 8,000 men. There is Renny, he's too young, betrothed off to a uh, Dornish hate there. Children, they're all children. Catelyn, we could uh, buy a favour from you. You're currently defending against uh, War of Tyranny against Benjen. Okay, great. Uh, let's try and get you on our side. Let's buy a favour from you. Not yet, we're going to wait until we are in the strongest position. Chance to prove more wealth? That's below me. We're currently a lot uh, bit too busy for all this nonsense. We just want to get all of our forces together first before we start trying to make some moves here. Come on, Dead Wolf. Sure, do it. Uh, give it to the leisure trade? Yeah, sure. Realm will surely believe. Let's uh, get all of our forces here. That's all of you to go straight to the capital. Should work out well. Oh, jeez. Master Qu Master Quentin. I uh, wasn't sure you were so educated. Taisha Zoken, you made her kind, I think. And my guidance people become trained fighters. What we got here? Child education. Marielle, daughter of Stafford. We'll give her a focus in very good at Marshall. Um, but it's not a job she's ever going to be. She's not going to be leading armies. Let's move this over. Let's, uh, armies very nearly all together. Let's get everyone to the capital. I'll be here with... Uh, I'll be leading, actually. With uh, Arthur Dane and Forley Prester. Excellent. Let's see who we can get on side now. There is you. You do have 15,000. Let's... Uh, buy a favour from you, and let's actually start our faction now. We'll start the faction to overthrow these fools. Let's also go and buy some favours from other strong lords. Is there any around? Uh, there's probably some around somewhere. I don't think we can get you on side. And you're a bit too young. We need to... Wait, is he too young? He is too young. We should wait another two years and get the reach in. It'll be so much 
more. Yeah, let's. I'm waiting until he's of age. I really am. This is. It's absurd to go when I could just wait a couple of years and have him join. Eleventh moon. It is two years though. Hopefully, we haven't just wasted that. I will uh, leave this faction because I don't want him to ask me to get out of it. We do have have a favour with her now. What is this? What do you want? Oh, you'll owe me a favour. I accept. I wouldn't uh, mind having more people owe me favours. Ah, good. Uh, Edison Toilet has had a child with uh, with Cersei, and the child has come out ugly, of course. We'll teach her about uh, humility. I'm sure she will need it. And we're not going to name her after my wife. We'll name her after... Just name her Cersei. Cersei 2.0. Find pros seed? No, that's absurd. Never do such a thing. I want the reach of age, because if we can get him on our side, it's not going to be a contest. It's going to be ridiculously easy. Just have to wait a little bit longer. Realm will surely bleed. More wars, are you kidding me? Red Crab has been killed, his lands usurped. Uh, what is this? The feud between Lady Kyra of Bram Horp and Lord Adam of Ashmark has reached a court. We, we, Lord Adam has our support. Julie, uh, to, Ju Julie, too, being the more powerful man. That's the only reason. Uh, Lord Paramount Tywin, after consultation with my council, I've decided to enact a law changing the rules of succession on the Iron Succession will hereby be determined by agnatic or natic inheritance, with male heirs being preferred to female heirs. Well, was it not already like that? Your guards inform you that yet another peasant family has been butchered not far from where the first grisly murders took place. This time the peasant you set free was caught in the act, and he was perforated by arrows when he tried to escape your guardsmen. Ah. Ha. Oh, I voted for something. I voted for something, I see. <laughs> Uh, Lords of the Iron Throne have uh, proved that, and he has restored the faith militancy. That might be a poor idea, Roberts. Roberts, that's probably not a grand idea there. Good news, though. Uh, this guy here has gained two learning. You're actually quite the educated man, Lionel. Cleos is not, though. That was this you would like to marry uh, Sorel to Euron? Sure. Sure, why not? Why not? We want, we want, uh, we want these chaps on our side. We just got away from the come of age. We do have you potentially able to join us. We do have that uh, there. Does it say when it goes out? No. What are you offering me, commander? No, not going to be a commander. Every ruler needs to go out and meet the peasants in person from time to time, just to make sure that they know you still exist, if nothing else. As you visit the local, as you visit locals, Mercalian. Why am I Mercalian? You speak very frankly about how you think of them. Maybe I can outrun them? Uh, I'm not doing anything like that. Let's get away from these people. Wait, what? Uh, I don't think I got injured. So we could use that as a command post to see if there's anybody in. Under my vassals will search for most martial. Arthur Dane is already in my court. Gregor Clegane. Could get you out sooner. Order is Sandor. Sandor is not in our realm. Let's send him a gift and have him in our realm. Let's invite Sandor over. Uh, Forley Press is already in my course. Dennis Plum. Okay, Dennis Plum, we're going to grant you the uh, Lordship of Moat Kaelin. Sir Dennis of Moat Kaelin, very good. Let's also get the Hound over here. Good. Let's uh, let's go through our bodyguards. Uh, Forley Presta is all right. Ilan Payne is useless. Let's replace him with the Howl. Very good. And then four commanders. Let's replace the two worst. We've got a 15. We'll replace with a 20, and a 16. We'll replace with a 20. And yeah, sure. Excellent. Uh. Uh. So you are now 15. Just got to wait one more year and then Willis will be within our grasp. Can we get him a betrothal, perhaps? Willis to Marielle? Jenna? Cersei the Younger? He would actually take that. Let's go with Cersei the Younger. I'm sure he'll uh, appreciate that match. Could go for an alliance. But I would still uh, use a. Uh, I'll use money to get him involved. 
Tai Shirt Zoukan has come of age. She has the whitest hair there ever was. Not whitest, yellowest hair there ever was. Blondest. That's the word I'm looking for. Excellent. Well, uh, the Reach and me together, there'll be no one to get away. Uh, there's rumour in King's End that one of the local gnomes might be corrupt. Handle wise, this information could uh, be used to implement one of your enemies. Then use it as you see fit. Uh, uh. Gerald is dead, but we don't really care. And excellent. This man here has paid me some gold. I like gold. I like gold a lot. I really, really do. Okay, so what's going to happen is when we come back next episode, we're going to buy a favour from Lord Tyrell. We're also going to use the Ty, uh, the favour with the lady here. And we're going to get a bit of a strong coalition together. Unfortunately, these lot are all ran by children. You will actually be of age as well. We might even be able to get Renly on our side against Roberts. Uh, I don't see how that makes sense. We might be able to get all of these people on our side. Anyway, I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this content. If you are, remember you should subscribe. It makes no sense to be watching this content without being subscribed. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.